What is it about the novels of celebrated Japanese mystery writer Kigo Higashino that reminds Indian directors of iconic Helen songs? Last year, Vasan Bala adapted Higashino's novel Buratusu no Shinzu into a deliciously twisted film called Monica Oh My Darling. That phrase is from the memorable dance number Pia Tu Ab To Aja from Nasir Hussain's 1971 film Karama. And now, writer-director Sujoy Ghosh has adapted Higashino's most famous novel, The Devotion of Suspect X, into a film titled Jane Jaan. Ah Jane Jaan is another unforgettable Helen Cabaret from the 1969 film Intakam. In this one too, she's dancing in a nightclub. She's wearing provocative clothing, iridescent blue eyeshadow, and she's got these sparkling beads in her hair and her eyebrows. A white cockatoo plays a starring role. The background dancers are men in blackface. One is locked in a cage and she's traipsing around him, slowly driving him mad with lust. It's politically incorrect but just fabulously bizarre, like everyone involved was smoking something strong. Perhaps it's this mood of slightly unhinged which inspired Sujoy because it's also the dominant note in his film. Jane Ja is set in Kalimpong. You might recall that the hill station was also one of the main locations for Sujoy's Kahani too. In Sujoy's imagination, Kalimpong is beauty wrapped in a shroud of disquiet. It's misty, cold and always borderline creepy. Everyone has secrets, like Maya D'Souza, the attractive single mother who moves into an apartment with her teenage daughter. Maya runs the local cafe. One of her most loyal customers is her neighbour, Naren, who is a math teacher. Nareen is played by Jaydeep Ahlawat with this awkward comb-over hairstyle. Nareen is always with numbers, but less comfortable with human beings. He so rarely has visitors that the chairs and sofa in his living room is loaded with books and he has never had to move them. At one point, one of Maya's co-workers tells her about Nareen, Wo aapka neighbor hai na, har pal aap par nazar rakhta hoga, jaise dar ka Shahrukh Khan. And this is the good in Maya's life. One day, a man from Maya's past shows up at the cafe and her carefully constructed patina of peace goes to hell. Like in Monica Oh My Darling, there is greed, blackmail, murder. Soon after comes Karan Anand, a cop who must unravel what has happened. And so begins a cat and mouse game through which Maya's tragic past and the relevance of that song, Aa Jane Ja, is eventually revealed. Since his first film, Jankar Beats, 20 years ago, Sujo has reveled in the nostalgic power of old Hindi film songs. His last film, the short Sex with Your Ex in Love Stories 2, leaned on the magic of Jab Koi Baat Bigar Jai from the 1990 film Jurm. Jane Ja is also powered by old songs, including that title. When Maya finally sings A Jane Ja in a karaoke bar with visuals of Helen in the background, the scene is suffused with sadness but also power, like Maya is reclaiming her past. As Karan says to Naren, Yaar Padosan solid hot hai. And her allure is one more tool Maya uses to survive. The best part about Jane Ja is Sujoy's unexpected casting. He pits Bollywood royalty and the two-decade-old stardom that comes with Kareena Kapoor Khan against the mighty acting chops of Jaydeep and Vijay Verma. Vijay gets a hero entry and he works his charm well, but this character isn't layered enough to leave much of an impression. The heavy lifting is done by the other two. Kareena is strong as the tormented but steely Maya who will do whatever it takes to protect her daughter. Maya D'Souza has some of that same sadness and ache that Rupa D'Souza did in Lal Singh Chadda. But Maya is more resilient. Karina has a great talent for portraying these women who wear their scars with strength. Remember Chameli or Talash? The scene stealer, however, is Jaydi, who manages to be troubled, lonely, compassionate and sinister all at once. In several interviews, Sujoy has said that he saw the film as a love story and not as a murder mystery. Jaydi makes this possible. There's a sweetness about him. Even though Nareen is so awkward that when people hug him, he doesn't know how to hug back. The talent is stellar, but Jane Jan never manages to become more than the sum of its parts. Sujoy and his DOP, the brilliant Avik Mukhopadhyay, who also shot Sardar Udham, effectively construct mood with rolling fog and these winding streets and stylized lighting. The camera stays close to the faces of the three leads. Sound designer Anirban Sen Gupta plays up the notes of suspense. But the script and characterization never become as beguiling as the atmospherics. 
I haven't read the book or seen the 2017 Chinese film adaptation. So I don't know how much Sujoy has altered the story. But in Jane Jaan, the tension and suspense isn't consistent. The murder scene is superbly staged. You get a real sense of the physical exertion of killing someone. The rest of the film doesn't quite match up. The calculations and that staying one step ahead of the cop maneuvers might remind you of the Drishyam series, but that was a much cleverer cat and mouse game. And the most mouth-watering part of such films, the big reveal of what actually went down, feels too improbable. It's more serviceable than satisfying. Still, there is enough fun to be had here, especially if you're not going to ask too many questions. You can see Jani Jaan on Netflix.